Welcome to the Paisa podcast by Nepali Paisa. The show is powered by Smart Wealth Pro. If you're a trader or an investor like me in Nepal stock market, Smart Wealth Pro provides you all the tools that you require to analyze companies listed in Nepal stock market. In fact, when you start out, they even provide you one week free trial. So go out and try it. This series is called Stock Market Investor Series. Welcome to the Paisa Podcast. Aja Ami Sahununsa Shraddha Pant, and Shraddha is the head of investment research at Muktinath Capital. Muktinath Capital is a subsidiary of Muktinath Vikas Bank. Shraddha is also a CFA charter holder. In fact, Shraddha is the first female CFA charter holder of Nepal. Shraddha, welcome to the podcast. Thanks, Arpan. Thanks for having me in the show. Yeah, of course, we've known each other for more than 10 years, right? Yeah. So do you want to tell our audience how we first met? Um, yeah, I remember meeting you first in exam center of CFA. So CFA, I think, Sulti Hotel. Uh, Radisson Ma. Yeah, Radi- Radisson Ma. I was taking my level two exam and yeah. you were taking your level one exam. That's, yeah. how, so that's was, where we met first, I believe. Correct. That was 2013, eh? It's almost been 10 yeah. years now. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Yeah. So, I mean, it's been quite a journey for you. Eh, no? And just a few days back, I, I was having a conversation with Deepesh Ji from NMB Capital, the CEO of NMB mm-hmm. Capital. And he had mentioned that, you know, like, uh, there's a good analyst at uh, Muktinath Capital, Shraddha Pant Panir. So maybe you should have a conversation with her for the podcast. Oh. So it's finally good to see that, you know, there are good analysts like you in Nepal who are getting recognition. Okay, uh, I haven't met the CEO of NMB Capital personally, yeah. but that's that's a good thing to hear. Yeah, I think oh, he met, he saw you at um, he saw you ask questions at the BNT uh, uh, AGM. Okay, right? okay. All right, so just going back a little bit, and um, like for our viewers, right? Can you tell us a little bit about your background in terms of educational background? What all did you do, Anera? Education wise, so. To pursue my bachelor's, I went to India. Yeah. Ani, India, Mane, so, um, I was interested in finance because I come from a family of bankers and stockbrokers. So, I marketing So, it had always been about finance growing up. The seeds are already planted. And when I was in final year of, of my college, uh, finance was a subject introduced by you. But I felt that. Final, uh, final year of college as in plus as in two bachelor. when you're a bachelor, yeah. summer, correct? Undergrad, and then so finance, one era subject introduced by boy, there are depth field boy. No? So then I went about and said, No, so to college level, my interest match boy, so you get references. Okay, I mean, I'm a mere ex roommate, lady, she was teaching language at uh, at a center ulle cha russian padaunthe ulle ta english sikthe okay and thaka tya ne cfa ko classes bhai ra chha hai bhanera cha she spread it okay mm. for some reason and i got and i got interested i got intrigued i went and sat on the classes and that's how the journey unfolded for me cfa ko chai a uh, cfa ko level 1 pachi cha i got an opportunity to work with a credit rating a, a leading credit rating company in india yeah. called crystal line right? And this was so first work, um, first work stint in Meru too. Then like say, mainly Meru academic coursework like say practically because they implement Gorni Bani Kura. So one year throughout one year, like companies are analyze Gorda Hera, bottom up and analysis CK Bonum now. And level three ko like say I took a break in yeah. my career and level three like wholeheartedly pursue Gorri. This was I got into a few consulting assignments and investment banking assignments in India. Yeah. And after that, say 2015. Go earthquake, but see, after a while, I felt that your long distance relationship with my family is not going to work out well for me. One era, I shifted my base back to Nepal. Yeah, and in Nepal, I made a first uh, work assignment was with One to Watch. Com- One to Watch, that's again where I met you, I think. Yeah, because uh, you were working with TNA, uh, yeah. and I was working with One to Watch. One to Watch, my was which working. is a private equity company, Correct. right? Um, so private equity, I was working as an investment analyst. This month, I mostly uh, so fun. As an investment analyst, and I'm an incubator in house. Rockstar. Correct. You remember more than I do. 
सो त्याच आय युज टू हँड ओल ऑन्टरप्रेनर्स टू कम्प्लीट वहाँहरूको फाइनान्सियल मोडल र सो जस्ट इन्भेस्टरलाई चाहिने डकुमेन्ट्सहरू चाहिँ हामीले प्रिपेयर गर्न हेल्प गरिदिन्थ्यो सो देर आई वर्क फर अ गुड लाइक गुड नम्बर अफ इलेभेन मन्थ्स टुवेल्भ मन्थ्स अनि देन आई टुक अ सिट ब्याक अब चाहिँ लाइक सो वट नेक्स्ट हुन्छ नि सो नेपालमा आए आई डिन्ट नो एनिथिङ अबाउट क्यापिटल मार्केट्स लेभल थ्री सकेको छ बट आई एम नट इभन म्यानेजिङ माई फ्यामिलीको पोर्टफोलियो वाज जस्ट लाइङ देयर हुन्छ नि बोनस सोनसहरू त्यो कम्पाउन्ड भइरहेको छ तर आई डिन्ट नो लाइक के हो यो स्टक्सहरू के पनि थाहा थिएन एन्ड आई वान्टेड टू डू समथिङ इन क्यापिटल मार्केट्स तर हाउ भन्ने कुरा चाहिँ क्लियर थिएन अनि ठ्याक्क त्यति बेला चाहिँ सो केपिआइएसको अपर्चुनिटी चाहिँ इट ल्यान्डेड एट माई डोर स्टेप्स Okay so I'm go- wait I'm going to take it a little bit backwards eh? right so Mail say where I want to start is where did you study in India I studied at Indira College of Commerce under University of Pune So you were in Pune eh? yeah. you got a scholarship right Yes Yeah I think that's very important right So were you academically always very good like in your school days or college days ma Um yeah I mean I was known to be a studious like the classical and any student who was into books and studies and so do say to so you were always good academically you know and then when yeah. you i mean you got the scholarship yeah. you went to pune and you got to pursue the, uh you picked up that interest yeah. in finance you know so because you were interested in finance you got into cfa thing yeah, right yeah i mean i wouldn't yeah. have enrolled if i was interested in something else correct right. so how did crystal come about i mean crystal is a accreditating agency yeah. right um So when I was posting my CFA level 1 yeah. Miro course instructor was like uh, so these guys are hiring you should consider joining this organization for so and so reasons on so analytical rigor say uh, so practically hands on approach say the more there is no point so when khali kura garnu bhayo thyo ani I went ahead and applied yeah and the interview was in Mumbai so there was an, another like anthony um really memorable experience for me because i didn't know anything about india ka trains and stuff but then i took that train anyways to mumbai went to crystal ka office took that interview landed that job okay so yeah. and what was the learning experience like in crystal um learning experience say so whatever we learn academic ratio analysis boy we go see see ke kaun sa you know but yeah. it's just like it's all, all in the air you don't apply that knowledge to real companies neither so with crystal say bottom up analysis of any company in any sector ko sari garni bhaner se that's where i learned that's where i learned uh, how to do it in real world situation bhaner correct okay so were you analyzing private companies or were these publicly listed companies i was mostly analyzing private companies okay so i think that gives you a more depth in terms of these are companies that are aspiring to be listed someday in the future um not really actually so credit rating ma say uh, the lens that you use is does this company have willingness to pay back interest and principal like yeah. lender perspective but analyze got in so you know so does it have ability and willingness to pay so you do the parameters my data errors eh? analysis got okay? okay data and like information industry it's so publicly available industry information company specific information through our know, records any bank records or something like that go like your mix us to so after that after the whole crystal co experience mm-hmm. then did you move back to nepal or were you in um, did you join spark after that no i i joined enlighten consulting and contracting private limited partner too right so that was into consulting so tyan se maile mostly healthcare sang so india ko healthcare map out garera uh, partners or like say so kun sector ma invest garni why bhanera to invest in rationals haru dide baste tyan se and after that after that i joined spark you joined spark yeah. you know and how long was that stint for that was for 6 months 6 months yeah. so after that you chose to move back to nepal right. to be closer That's to your family yeah. right and he, you joined the private equity industry in nepal the yeah. development yeah. yeah. 2016 yeah. 17 16 17 yeah. kokura you know? and i think you did that did you move back to india again after that not really you didn't you yeah. know so i went to take my stuff back like bring my stuff back yeah That's but after that you didn't move for no. a, another job opportunity no. to india right Okay great. I and mean, that's when after that I think yeah. right. So I think I should ask that to you right away right. Yeah. So when we were setting up KPIs back in 2018 mm-hmm. you were actually one of the first few people right. Yeah. Actually that that time you were not working anywhere. Yeah. And we are setting up KPIs yeah. and I needed somebody who could help us you know analyze companies do yeah. those valuations and stuff. So I requested you can you join us for a few mm-hmm. months and that few months turned out to be few years. years. You worked for almost 2 3 yeah. years together and right? What was the experience like, you know, working with KPIs and how has that shaped you to be an investor that you're today? Um, so KPIs 
I mean, even track record shows, right? I stuck around because I saw value, KPI is smart thing. So yeah. academically, whatever I learned, it wasn't really translating into, I mean, I had a family portfolio. I wasn't really managing it. Managing it. Yeah. it was just lying about. The KPIs could research. I mean, initially, I didn't expect. I had. A, I didn't have any expectations, Correct, yeah. honestly, when I joined KPIs. Let's go and see. Pani khali ko approach to. But as when I joined and when you started giving me research research assignments, pani na. So my approach. So I live in KPIs. My generation saw. He teases me like, "Beta, you've got it. You've done valuations, pani na." Yeah. But that's where I started. Ani. gradually evolved with the hera okay this is not like academic academically our limits are but beyond that value investing yeah. but the world pani saw so that's something that kpi has introduced to me correct and you have been building on it ever since so it's so a right out of college if you don't jo- join right organization or right mindset boko organization correct, correct. it really i mean it just keeps you hanging there yeah 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 i've seen a lot of friends who have done cfa na yeah. but they've joined like different organization when you उनको इन्वेस्टमेंट फिलोसफी अलग एकदम रॉ नहीं They're looking at a lot of numbers. Yeah, they're doing a lot of these analysis. Yeah, but they don't analysis. know how to make but sense of it all. Yeah, they they can't make yeah, sense yeah. of it from a yeah. larger picture, right? Great. So you you keep talking about your family portfolio, right? Yeah. So is that your early influence for getting into investing? I would say, you were saying who, but I didn't know like what was there. Okay, before my dad passed away, he was managing all of it, so Correct. I didn't know what existed, what he was doing. Like, do I even IPO something or board the boss no until then? Like he used to do secondary uh, market mapping, all the investments, but I didn't like want to invest in philosophy. Kiya thiyo kine invest kari ko none of that. Correct. Tiko ali pass on no bani pa ani because we were too young. Yeah. And after that, it was there. Ani uh, mere uncle who was a stockbroker, he used to come and say like thiyo all the rights miss kariyo, and we didn't know like what he meant. You know? <laughs> so when we were studying our rights, ko like. Partners, if you're still being paid around, so but you're not. So but I don't like what he say. What is he saying? One is just to understand the processes or that you know exactly because of your apply on process and all of that. Even like I think my little team is a company KPI has joined. Got it. It's a matter of holding go. Yeah. They develop a book around it. Otherwise, two one hours. So be paper based on ten. More like them. Like I used to bog be bogged down correct, by the processes. The paperwork and yeah. yeah. So. Alibun is not very easy. If you actually go to the market. You need to open a broker account. You need to open a bank account. I know. Because mm-hmm. you use something to link on. Yeah. You need to go to the bank. You buy. I know. Once. It's not easy. But I think it's way, way, way easier from you know those initial way days when we were thinking. Till that, even that mindset it creates a hurdle. Okay. So, oh, as a broker go office. Oh, like so, your entire entire day gets wasted there. One as a study. Correct. Correct. So your family already had a portfolio, yeah. right? Any finance ma? That's where you picked it up in college. Any. You joined the yeah. stock market. Much of where did you exactly get influenced? Do you remember that moment? Like what pulled you to? I think I would have to say my uncle. I mean, he was into stocks, and I used yeah. to come home and talk about um, stock market in dinner table. So that's when I, I think, like when even when I was like mere pre SLC phase, money I used to be interested. Okay, keep on one match. So why? So these guys are talking about these companies, the stock. I'm gonna perform. Go to Kina Gorio, like. Like bull market beer, ma. Like they used to have their own rationale, you know. They develop more theory. At points, you know, keep on new things exactly, but but those conversations used to happen. And in Malaysia, what you want? You more financially independent, new person, one. You probably did you. And financially independent boy, but see, but you like I need to know how to manage my own money well, but you could just say like this. They were the finance, they were going to done it, and it served me well when once. So. so you got interested in these conversations, right? So. For the next step, I mean, apart from CFA, na, did you ever decide to, you know, like look for the right resource or look for the right book to help you get into that investing or that mindset? Mm, yeah. So before I joined KPIs, I na intelligent investors, I was like did skimming you read through. It? Yeah. Uh, much later, I na yeah. I was skimming through it to one to. So I didn't know like when I started to one, chapter one the eight summer it was like too English heavy and until yeah. then makes sense one era. A lot of jargon. Yeah, there is jargon so it's only I think the di balane I'd stop or I'd in between things. Same with me, yeah. Correct, and the, then later when I joined KPIs, you told me that eight the back of the chapter yes. saying um, so. They had most of the meat so to part out, and so then I went. I've gone back and read that. So correct. So your yeah. actual. Investment experience, in terms of practically investing mm-hmm. into the stock market, actually it's it's kind of coincided with KPIs. Yeah, that yeah, would be did, the right thing did. to say, right? So again, I think it it's a very redundant question, but who are these? Uh, who are the investors apart from Warren Buffett and Charlie Munger, right? Who are these yeah. investors that 
general people they don't talk about much but in your opinion on sunny mm-hmm. well this that you feel or oh, you'd say alikati undercover so this is a good author that people can read oh. or watch videos of bandra are they those kind of people i think uh, regional investor school i say i urge them to start with the psychology of money by morgan housel i think india ma the best selling book ne boy se kyo lete ho na and apart from that i think um Pat Dorsey ko the little book that builds wealth punner so it's a good read yeah. mere vichar ma and he of late like chris mere ko 100 baggers one even Correct. so that's been like a good resource yeah um unusual billionaires for certain stocks so banking bio yeah. manufacturing some related how to how to look at these companies punner unusual billionaires yeah. like how do you identify a good company yeah. right i mean yes and i think so peter lynch bio yeah margin of safety bane punner or kora books so which helps you like stock picking banda when you like pick god that kind of pricing matter kina timle attention dinu parsa valuation me kina attention dinu parsa that's a good resource so yeah so these are the people right i mean as a good it might suddenly about books right i mean there are a lot of these youtube videos yeah. and youtube videos and then the interviews of a lot of these yeah. fund managers any particular of those resources i think do you, do you i mean because i, I know we learned together in mm. kps as well you know uh, somebody like sanjay bakshi they don't have a book or anything yeah. but their blogs are so valuable right yeah. i think vishal kandelwal is yeah. another one in india and there are few other people I mean that Lilius video at uh, Columbia Business School is another one which mm-hmm. just opens your eyes yeah. as an investor. I think for me it's been Dr. Vijay Malik oh, yeah. who was a doctor earlier and he got into finance much later in his life. Correct. So wow, wow, good writing so it's very, very detailed thorough. and yeah. yes. So do you say for somebody who's trying to take up analysis professionally when you are even like for a family portfolio cost of reason analysis gorni ban me say it's a good resource. Correct. So you mentioned that I mean your uncle and I mean I know him as well yeah. you know he previously used to work in the stock, Nepal stock market yeah. and he uh, more recently he was in the brokerage business as right. well right so when these people they you're having that conversation at a dinner table you know uh-huh. and I know that most of them might be true for him might not be true for him most of these people might say kyun so many they do not have the right analytical framework yeah i've i've gone to brokers i've spoken to some of them some of them really understand it really well what's a good investment and what's a bad investment they don't discuss it too much there are a lot of them they're they just throwing around jargon like you yeah. you come think you know no bonus sound lots yeah. or is go right sound lots yeah. or else like phalano le uthai ra cha ani isko price bot yeah. those are not the right i mean mind frames right? so how did you learn to differentiate between malaji recommend got that so that is good versus bad one so how did you um luckily for me again like um uh, i started my career with in investing with kpis you know so yeah. that's been a value add in the sense ki no parso ani ki garnu hudaina bhanne kura like when i went for pitches with you teti bala ne bujhi sakeko the and a bit of it's a cfa board bani ayo i think so bonus for rights i never understood it. i still don't understand you know like <laughs> but still like it works in the market tarabani i still don't get into that bandwagon even if it works yeah, i was going to ask you sometimes it does work in the market you know yeah but like and it does that the risk is always there that you fall on your face and to it there is so a bad company with really poor fundamentals return ratio has been got illo sai no yeah so this go right side and ki gani error boss ne like can't can't put my money there correct you know? so, so okay so basically it was the, it was your background in terms of cfa and your yeah. work experience that actually helped you differentiate the yeah. good good investment i'd say so so yeah. right i think right tower start got it say help me segregate no, between noise rounds and actual value so i think it helped correct so i mean you worked with us at kps until i think 2020 okay 21 summer right yeah. uh, it was almost for 2 to 3 years that you worked with us So how did you decide that you wanted to get into the capital market side of things and you know? why did you choose to get into Muktinath Capital Um capital markets matter so um so value investing CQ I also wanted to see um all the like issue management but I was interested you know oil right. so so after joining the merchant banking and investment banking mass segregations or license or go procedures are different so and was it that they were like they say okay these guys are getting to you do IPO later so these guys these guys are the ones who do it so they happen i think i can add value when so so stay and capital markets ma say so muktinath capital kin join garego one question ma say so muktinath capital had recently acquired vivor capital correct any team as a resource um so investment research garni resource 
missing till and mala lead gani opportunity hai and that's how i got in okay so ani coming to muktinath capital right what currently what are the product and services that you all have mm, so products and services would differ based on Or divisions, division right yeah. so division wise say merchant so broadly at the say merchant banking boy and investment banking one two two type so so merchant banking the existing divisions are not your depository participant it's more like rts uh, functions are rts functions are on then issue management functions are on investment banking side ma chai aba timro portfolio management services bhayo alyo and mutual fund or corporate advisors the pipeline ma chha like licenses licenses or lira ko samanle i mean the process ma chha okay so you all are trying to do merchant banking as well merchant bank yeah you know okay great so okay coming back to your product and services right i think muktinath capital they release this i'm sure you're the person behind it they release this newsletter okay yeah. i think every week nikal sir not every week every fortnight every fortnight right i think the first few pages are very standard mm-hmm. i think everyone tries to do it and i think it has zero value <laughs> and <laughs> but there's okay. that last page uh, and it's not really a criticism of yeah. you i think everyone does it like yeah. as you up the nipse etile body etile body your sector le kati le body and that's so standard i mean anyone can get that information yeah. and i think pehla nmb capital used to have something called the analyst and he, oh, yeah. th- they used yeah. to cover it too i think early nib capital a in, lot of them have come everyone does it and it's so standard but i mean everyone produces but what i really like about your newsletter is that final page right um asti when we are researching we had seen it the final page is actually really good content mm-hmm. who produces that uh, i lead it but yeah. i also like allow team members in my organization to move it ahead so correct so i think uh, we are looking at it there was an article saying w- which is the most dangerous to hold in the long term <laughs> like which is the most dangerous asset to hold in the long term right and i think the answer was cash because if you're just sitting on cash and not allocating cash okay. over the long term you stand you must have been way back cuz mole i mean i don't remember it Correct. particularly but yeah i mean we keep on so writing. a lot of very insightful thing i think it's generally one pager and yeah. people might not acknowledge that you one page like nobody got the thought process or got the garden yeah. somewhere but uh, i really appreciate that right okay so coming back to what you said about mutual funds so, You all have mutual funds in the pipeline as well. That's correct. Right. Mutual fund pipeline also. Do I saw no point in it, but because of a is to buy. Do you think about Mukti Nath Capital? Le, we were like, so we were is an acquired entity, and the legal processes, man, say, do you know documents or not? Because say, all the art kit, ako. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So we're going to see it sometime very soon. Yeah. Okay. So. I think how long has Mukti Nath Capital been in existence? Not not Vibor Capital, Mukti Nath Capital. I'd say three years. It's been three yeah. years, right? So it's very difficult. I can understand in order to you know give out your performance yeah. results. But how has your performance been so far? I mean, oil is some key cost to buy, right? So. Oh, it's been it's been in line with the market, Pan Sumat. Okay. And what's your AUM currently? Um, what's the size of assets that you all are managing? Fifty fifty five crore Pan Damati, sir. Okay. And when the mu- when the first mutual fund comes is yeah. that a 50 crore or a 100 crore ka mutual fund i think it's going to be one or yeah so 100, 100 crore. crores at the ko thing so i think that's going to be a sizable fund eh? how, okay. how how large is the team size and you i mean you mentioned two division right you're the mm-hmm. merchant banking yeah. right the investment banking ma so, so you mean like muktinath capital ko total yeah muktinath capital and i want to know how is it structured across the teams um so entire team ko structure i mean head count say it's somewhere around 30 yeah and how is it structured bond upar da khera say division so you do my divisions merchant banking investment banking division or chutai go so they so apni related department or go like your regular individual whoever has that niche skill set yeah while at two divisions that deploy got it and then like analyst pool like say or resource pool like say all the fungible way man say i'm use got that con some okay so i want to understand what's the relation do you have a separate research department and an investment management department cuz it's all oil structure or oil situation it's the same um overlap the boy also you know but research uh, research resources is separate from um, timro portfolio management resources so research le say more lessons any kun kun investment calls le ni kina bhanera rational or share garyo and investment um, so portfolio management division ma say okay let's do this for so and so reasons bhanera portfolio management division ma say we also have a technical technical analysis gorna sokni resource person who so fundamentally i am you sokram say for your reasons bhanera dio and one let's say 
ओके अब एंट्री एंट्री पॉइंट्स और मिला रहे हैं एंट्री रिस्पॉन्स ना इज इट गुड आह सो फार डज इट वर्क एंट्री मास है यस अब इट डज इट इट डज इन द सेंस आई थिंक दे आर मोर कसवाने इट इट गिव्स अ साइकोलॉजिकल कंफर्ट दैट्स दैट्स व्हाट इट इज करेक्ट बट आई मीन है you know like is it actually scientific and does it work when it okay i i can understand um, the psychological well conflict. i can't really cuz like they look at charts and stuff and yeah it's not my forte forte you know so they the question gonna mil then a two cheese man because i don't have a base yeah. in that having said that i've seen like it add value in terms of amma tizani bella ma say so they time it in a certain way which has worked out i mean psychological comfort perspective was it it's it's worked worked out well once yeah. Few days ago, I had gone to KCM, okay, mm-hmm. and uh, Kubir was one of their programmers. Okay. So I had gone there to you know share a presentation on how do you analyze a bank with a practical example of one of the banks that we had picked up, you know, Kun Framework layer, near that. And I had requested them that Timir Company, their students, they actually manage real money. Okay. Uh, college le half paisa din sa, unir le half paisa alsa, and then they form groups and then they manage money, okay. Okay. And there were six groups. I randomly picked up three, and I said present got her. So uh-huh. two of them were fundamental. This one group of technical, uh-huh. technical got uh-huh. nimansi right, so okay. And turns out, on the only presentation they had, you know, on only key they had, you know, he had shown me a lot of these candlestick charts that I was there. On only what key they had, you know, we entered at this point, you know, lowest point they had, you know, we exited at this point, you know, highest point they had, you know. And I didn't tell it to them. That man, man, I was thinking. in your test to khatra raisa maybe i should hire them rather you know so i really don't know whether it works well for me say mali about team as a keep on down so ni if there is a story fundamentally of if i pick up let's say a fundamentally sound bank ne banum na ni for so and so reasons of price what you buy based you know and question also you know to small say story of the bank is on say don't sell bond so unless team the price to book multiples of 10 times on so of course like sell 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 one thing could up you know but unless team the underlying performance is in line with initial thesis so and say generally no one upon that one so that was they listen to me pani mm-hmm. um but just client new so new client to jaili pani ai ra ko huncha so two cases ma say mali fundamentally aba mali fundamentally it's a guide gar new and kune stock Like filter ne bara guys, so you can say entry ma say they use their brains. Okay. So that's how it works. So I think you mentioned like clients coming to you, right? Uh, so obviously your your major business today is portfolio management, right? So when one of the major businesses. One of the major businesses. Yeah. Okay. So especially on the investment side, ma say portfolio, so because that's you don't right. have a mutual fund as of yeah. today, right? So when the clients who come to you, right? Do you profile these clients according to? Do you make a separate risk return profile for them? That's not been an institutional practice until now. So we're trying to get into it because because it makes sense for investors. Pani, to all you could see, psychologically, okay, we're adding value. Pani, perspective, pani, okay, these guys want to know what I want in my portfolio. To perspective, pani, pani, it it helps to manage expectations. Having said that, allocation, pani, has say. I mean, to profiling or even I don't see yeah. a lot of multi ban because because once you start to profile, room to make changes, I know. Correct. But it always helps to profile. And yeah. ultimately, like this is what you said, and this is what we have done, Manir. Say, I think uh, justify or analyze help or so in to a, up to an extent. Yeah. But all these almost institutional practice book, I know. Yeah. So, so that, we, that, that's to what I was going to ask you next, right? So once you profile these people, uh, let's say you research ABC one year, that stock, right? Or just for example, let's say you bottles Nepal one year company, you uh, know. So I mean, technically or academically, the Bottlers Nepal might not fit the risk return profile for each and every investor, mm-hmm. right? So, do you take those calls separately, or according to the investment pro- investor profile, or? Oh, generally different, so they na, na. Tora kuni kuni case ma, if the client comes out right and says mala ta hydro stocks may exposure deal, <laughs> then we have to take those calls and you okay, BNT or tara, you take those calls Correct. for particular so clients. So those type of things they do yeah. happen, right? Yeah. Okay, so. What's the investment philosophy of Muktinat Capital like overarching philosophy? Mm. And what what's the investment culture investment philosophy? More or less so big so alikiti because because I come from that value uh, value investing orientation, I know. Yeah. Uh it's more or less buy good companies at right prices and so buy and hold one is it, I know. Because the thesis play out, boy. Because they they exit, okay, exit now and then buy again later. One day, could happen. Unsa? Unsa? 
Yeah, unsa. So that's a little bit market timing. Kukura yeah, I'll get the timing. Kukura, but but investment research, ma say, I would say value orientation. Unsa. So, I'm a filter, but a guy, but it's matter. So core portfolio, ma add guy, ni ki nagar ni decision is like, it it generally goes through investment research department. So investment research department, ma unsa. You said that in your team, you all also have a trader. Yeah. Who basically helps you with yeah. quality entry or not, quality exit or not, and those type of calls are right. Yeah. Okay, so your overarching philosophy is value investing philosophy. So, how do you generate ideas? Ideas. Like to stock the entire universe, but how do you? So, stock the entire universe sector wise, and this aggregate got every quarter got data feed in got the boss zone, man. Yeah. And from there, bani team ro so sector wise, or each sector, so sector wise different different data set boyo. And this word, if so, valuation ro tim ro underlying performance again. This ma revenue, profits er new. So this ma like kunai uh, unexpected deviation saw ni. We try to delve deep into deeper into that. Ira se tiu boyo. Koke grape vine bar apni also. And I have my own screeners. So yeah. So what are those screeners? Um, Because uh, so bad business is my invest nagarni. That's one screener, right? No, this ma ab different different. I mean, I build my own for, formula vani ke. Like rules, one um, na. Yeah. So one of the rules say, "Timro growth pani unu pariyo and underlying economic engines unu do say strong unu pariyo." Of this ko, they like gauge gani different parameters are set gari gusum, and so valuation pani. So timro funda fundamental indicators ma say yeah. stand out unu pariyo. Usko universe pata. Correct. And valuation wise pani, it has to make sense. Yeah. If it's already like overpriced, kine enter gari ni, na. Correct. If it's not like market le tiyo sir, pricing gari sa kiko sahi na unse. So the last shot this quarter, and yeah. then we're not going to peer analysis. So I'm guessing like price is the last thing that you look at, uh, right? I mean, yeah, I mean, it, is, firstly, it matters when you decide yeah. to enter or not. That uh, to, before that, say correct. So you have to understand. The first thing I think your whole thought process, like, is it a good company? Is it a third? Is, is it, it a good economic engine? I think yeah. that's where it starts. So I mean, the reason I'm saying this is even when you are at KPIs, I think you would, especially microfinance sector, could I see you had built a very yeah. elaborate. Um, A monitoring system, okay, mm. for that entire sector, yeah. right? So, do you still follow that for all the sectors? Do 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 you develop that? Any thing about it? Do you screen companies? Well, all you could do evolution the buy also, you know. Of course. Level, but, uh, we've evolved even microfinance. Because when we were going to this, this was our company database. Ne evolution like evolved by Sikyo. Correct. And across sectors, I build. Across sector, yeah. you build these yeah. filters, right? Yeah. Uh, I mean, if I could have chosen, I could have, and I could be right, I could be wrong, right? uh people they who tend to monitor a lot and there's a lot of uh, stock uh, portfolio turnover by mm-hmm. downs again yeah. because suddenly yeah. like one company might do well for three quarters or one year you know oh. might not be a sustaining engine okay mm-hmm. so and you suddenly it catches your eye because okay this is doing well why is it doing well should i start taking a position in this one unit mm-hmm. so because you I mean, not you. I mean, we in general, as fund managers, we tend to like monitor these uh, screeners very often. Does that lead to portfolio turnover? What's your opinion on that? Mm, it might, eh? So it might in the sense of only there is one one credit cycle that's happening. The banking sector, money, but no, your credit cycles all around. So wherein a lot of banks are stuck with bad loan portfolios and they're in that recovery mode. And a few, like handful of banks, I think, of the I capital or some or snowball capital day or article day go to and these are the banks were no so more or less those banks are the ones who are going to be able to grow Correct. going ahead you know so it was cycle ma tha ma me and these jolle je bhanu price achi bhayo bhane pani these banks are going to perform well Correct. for the foreseeable few quarters bhanu na the rob let's say nepal ko credit cycle nahi turn boy re then we might isma banda pani timro value creation or timro pra- Price realization, say, or your universe mounts, okay? The ones who are the in the recovery mode, uh-huh. no, of a gra- the entire sector, man, credit bond or thali bussy, because they are priced to earnings or priced to book multiple wise, man, they're priced lower side, man. They have a body value, no socks. So that way, say, churn, no one socks off. So I really don't know, like, kun fan fund manager, they cost the processes or use gar raza. But yeah. one reason why it could happen is because the business cycle turn. So, Augie, okay, when you we were talking, you said that um, you said that you use your set of screeners and timber yeah. criteria. No? So, for our viewers, can you share some of these? Like, Malaysia specifically, I look for Dwitin Dakura when mm-hmm. I'm looking at a bank, right? Yet I look at loan book or deposit growth rate, okay. right? 
for me personally i look at np levels mm-hmm. um and i look at roe okay i know and apart from that obviously i do a little bit of scuttlebutt as well to understand actually management ke kasto cha so i might have friends who are branch managers and mm-hmm. i try to understand their corporate yeah. culture kati aggressive cha cha ina and those type of things are so what are the filters that you're looking at specifically for maybe once one or two sector can you run us through that process okay lending sector ma i mean banking sector ma whatever you said apart from that i think one more thing or two more things that i would add to that mix would be capital adequacy talk it's i know correct tier one ma got to tier one plus two ma got is any does it does that capital base allow this particular bank to grow it's historically possible but i'm going ahead saying cap talk is i know you think like over a period of time like learn going to choose for you know and more or less apart from that i think that's pretty much it so from uh, f- some other sector like let's say lending matter that's it i think you um, told us and so manufacturing sector ma pani um timber margins bio great is the margins so do bond analysis wonder whatever we have learned that's like <laughs> one of the best resources to dissect a business model you know yeah. volume based business so give value based business, like pricing ma pricing bar body come also your business of volume bar come also so those kind of things hack ka tin ta dissect garne bitti ka also and manufacturing ma aba margins bhayo hello so how good of an economic engine is it on return on capital employed or return on equity ratios over a period of time not Correct. like one quarter so over a period of time kati ko sustainable bok so and margin pani one quarter ma it can go down you know Correct. even like with a good stock it can go down for different reasons that over a period of time has it been able to pass it on to its customers that's an important thing Correct. and manufacturing ma b2b banda apni b2c businesses say it has more preferable. pricing power uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. so risk the killer sab ko ra common so right yeah. i think you'd mentioned this at uh, bottles nepal ko agm as well right so if you go to the meeting minutes i think this with sala where you'd ask this question like how much of a pricing power do do you have yeah and the management said that we do have that pricing yeah. power and i think those are signs of good business and over a period of if you analyze their annual reports for over 10 12 years mm. so the data bouncer you'll generally find that they've been able to maintain their return on capital employed yeah. and return yeah, on equity yeah. so which is again another sign of yeah. uh, you know a good performance right and another thing manufacturing ma say growth when important so so it's if it's a good stock that yes. a growth say boy that's in any market according to price in pen garden we have seen that with unilever unilever yeah yeah i think the last cycle ma yeah. till the time they were growing market is yeah. rewarding it and so uh, growth now was say no not go led and come i think go go bar say for you No, bit so much there was stagnate pani bako thyo. Stagnate pani bako thyo. So market even accordingly flat nai rakhi. Flat rakhi, right? In fact, the I mean for a lot of people who overpaid, mm, yeah. I, I think 34,000 38,000 age got some open 36 age 38,000 some puge got thyo. It dropped to as low as 16, 17,000 per stock, you know. Not looking at the market cap, yeah. there are, I mean that's where it's currently at. It's around 18 to 20,000 yeah, range yeah. months per stock, right? So yeah, I think that's right. and it's a great company right good roe good roc yeah. and everything that without growth again yeah. like the market doesn't reward it yeah. uh, the value i think another point you had mentioned is regarding um given so those office vines kind of a thing right where you we said get, that uh, where you get information yeah. from can you tell us a little bit about that like by the source but a capital idea generate car so generally, um, generally what do you discuss it so with? um one of the sources say our team abani because these guys go out and meet brokers and stuff they have any all the information by down so but again like right now they saw ki ki ko lai on this 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 much more a little body focus course so you know ki ko lai right now they say is it just to just so that promoters can exist or so yeah, so different reasons ko lai ko no so so ki na ko those kind of things boy uh, apart from grape wine so you are at the sounding board i have at home as well my brother is also in capital markets so they have around so and right. another family sources but when okay you stock ke bhai da one so the one if it's interesting enough i look into it yeah so yeah but so, none of these information that come from grip wine there are recommendation like you don't buy it right away right no. they're just like initially spit yeah. running and i think you mentioned rights you know so rights much i think the interesting kura ja ke cha bani no matter who i think mukti nath bank you know they've been doing well i mean it's a wealth creator over mm. the past 10 15 years you know i'm not saying this just because it's a yeah. parent company of your thing so they have issued rights ek so tiki do it in the past okay yeah so what's a really important indicator to see is like what's the return on equity because oh, it's a great. financial services you know what's the return on equity on each additional dollar that they're raising yeah. from the shareholders yeah. right 
And there are a lot of companies that issue rights, but their return on equity or return on capital yeah. employed is extremely poor. Yeah. So you're better off actually not putting not, money. Yeah, right? And in short term, it's the price manipulate work. And if you look at these companies with poor ROEs, you'll see that jatti ne rights, one is to one, one is to hundred ne rights nikale pani, ultimately it just crashes yeah. over yeah. a period of time, right? Yeah. So over the long term, I don't think so these sustain. Okay, so just like, I think, can you recap that investment process for us, right? So you have this universe, yeah. right? You have, just to recap what you've said before, you have this universe of stocks, you have a lot of these filters and yeah. the Excel sheets and the probably information come from various great points, peers or some discussion, mm-hmm. got it you bring it, you analyze companies, right? So after that, you have a, probably a set of these companies that you're looking at. Yeah. So to your point about till the time you buy it mm. because you're in a capital and I'm guessing it's more formalized no? how does that process work probably you're left at 20 25 odd companies on the stock sir. so whatever stocks pass our filter then like we get into a little deeper deeper analysis of those stocks in terms of when our go last or 10 quarters quarterly reports or radio and then like our quarterly report but they manage in commentary opinions get to board you then annual reports, are case ma available pa then two years ke available boy di then. Yeah. But boy ko case ma se, what is the management saying? Ani ki bonda sa business ko baare ma. Tiyo buzi ho. Management ko like ki ho How is it looking at its own business pa nere? Tiyo eri. And so that's where, so yoda opinion form got you. And then, then the process is like, yoda ongoing process pa nere. So company analyze got you. If it's a good, good investment just to lie, then of late, say, I've come to realize that pricing pani they're really important things. So like long-term holding is one thing right. that I need to buy them at right prices. Right. So value investing matter pani like bond the bond so but so buy good businesses. And the right prices ma kati orda books ma focus ta kati orda ma thay na na. So earlier say I used to be like indifferent about all the indifferent about kun prices ma kino bond ra. But of late say okay the pricing pani matter gor so growth jun. Jun growth outlooks at your sector, ma, any oil valuations, do, do they make sense? Sometimes if they don't make sense, I stay away from the stock, and I wait for the prices to correct, and both develop, they develop badly, ne, but no, watch this, you know? Okay. And for the ones, Jun ma, say, conviction develop, so, okay, this is, this is it, pa, nera. Then, I, then, uh, I give it to Miro investment team to execute, yo, yo, ki, na, for so and so reasons, for investment mm-hmm. rationale, ra, report, prepare, ga, ra, I give it to my, Team. Okay, so regarding this valuation, Anna, so what methodologies do you use generally to value? Are you like kun kun different methods or so? Um, so I generally, generally don't do DCF analysis. I, I don't get into those. There are a few years ago forecasting or gorio, you know, yeah. and do the numbers make sense? Or you P multiples, don't you read that? Five years down the line, does it make sense? Yeah. So those kind of things are do. I think on your peer group, uh, usko performance like zun so. Kune stock ko performance ram rosa ani valuation wise the market lo according to price and gori ko thakis ani ani mispriced opportunity sa ani that could be one way to go about it. So yeah. different ways sa so zun I think this there was one this uh, initially you you were the one who introduced me to to this book and we had built out presentations right compounder arbitrage yes fast growers slow growers I think growers. Uh, mostly so from more Peter less, Lynch yeah it really depends on which bucket that particular investment has fallen into and accordingly bets so etapani do you have a bucket as yeah I use well? the similar similar I mean I go about it the similar way and okay. dun stocks ko say dun stocks aru they pass my screen this pachi pani tim ro um so Usko market size versus opportunity size. It's a way to analyze bottom, no? mm-hmm. That's like team business. Uh, so size wise, is it attractive enough given yeah. the opportunity? Standalone market cap pan pan Given the opportunity, is it attractive enough for you? Then business from imagine co quality. So yeah. imagine co quality the ROE really even it gives you an indication. You know, over the longer periods periods of time, it's difficult for any management to fool investors for a really long period of time. Correct. Yeah. Boyo, then. Longevity talk is saying so. Only some of the grow or so, or like grow on socks, you suck then those kind of things. So, margins or my longevity back of socks and then valuation perspective. So, you start a filter on them. So, these are all part of the deeper analysis once they clear your filter, right? So, okay, so I think you've screened the companies, you do a very deep research, you're reading annual reports, quarterly reports, you're judging management quality and reading whatever you find on this. After that, when you decide, okay, a certain company is good, you segregate it between like, okay, this is something that I want to pick up versus a watch list. So in a capital, do you have an investment committee or a board? Yeah, we do. You do? Investment, 
IRMSI one, so investment research, investment risk and management committee one. So, so you need to present it yeah. to them, right? So once they approve it, yeah. And then it goes through, right? Correct. Do you think like going through that process, mm -hmm. uh, I mean, for a capital, I can understand it from a risk management perspective. And the process, do you think it stops you from taking a larger position, concentrated position? Sometimes it does. It does sometimes. Yeah. But I think it balances so out. We can and always like, continue. are you for and against? Yeah. That's one aspect. And you, so smaller bets could I say, so we can start from smaller bets and you want uh, IRM SIMA approval, by obviously we can go big. So that's also partly how it works. Okay, so tell me about your uh, portfolio philosophy, right? So do you, generally, how many companies do you hold in your portfolio? And, and highest with Kati Mount. So how much are you comfortable concentrating or lowest with Kati Mount? So mm. how does that go about? Like what's your overall overarching portfolio philosophy? Um, so not too many stocks. Yeah. Having said that, 8 to 12, say, like generally, 8 to 12. And even stock, I don't generally go beyond 11, 12%, unless like extremely like risk, and sometimes we go on the higher side. Otherwise, I think concentrated bet, not so much that your portfolio, your investment, if it goes wrong, we could go wrong with our research, right? Correct. So if it goes wrong, then entire portfolio wipe out, no one got or substantially draw down, no one got it. Yeah. I think there are advantages and disadvantages yeah. to that, right? I think global context, 8 to 12 money, because they actually call that a concentrated portfolio. They do. I know, because you're looking at 8% to 12% weightage in a particular company. And what are you And if so, bro, NEPSA is like largely lending stocks, right? Yes. 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 ฉันไม่ใช่ฉันไม่ใช่ฉันไม่ใช่ฉันไม่ใช่ฉันไม่ใช่ฉันไม่ใช่ฉันไม่ใช่ฉันไม่ใช่ฉันไม่ใช่
which is again it's not like pure value investing because exactly you just guess the weight of the thing that you're trying to buy and you miss price on you know but how is the market going to think on it when i'm getting to that mindset also so do you think that's correct i it, mean it might not be yeah. but slightly say so one way to think about it is um so long term as i've seen that hydro power ma promoter share ko supply massively aune wala so that's one way to know like valuations ma tiki rasa tik da na another thing is ipo ma apni if you see there's so many hydro power companies that are coming up you know yeah. that so stand alone to don't make sense to me at all like correct yeah if they are going to be hydro power me invest karni economic engine then it might make sense but again sense. that's on a project to project basis yeah, right kinani so, it's not like they turn into a conglomerate and it's not it as well yeah, the project true, that they execute true, that true, has to do well and it yeah true. so this ma a mispriced opportunity ko like aung so they mispriced opportunity ma they eat they boss new that's all yeah. i don't know because i find a lot of value investors they've had that conversation with mm-hmm. me saying that i know the sector does not make sense at all to so, अब क्लाइंट्स नकिन भाई मेरे पोर्टफोलि इज नट मुविंग है दे ओनली फ्यू दुई तीनजा मात्र भैली इन्वेस्टर्स दर अफ मैट हुई वेरी डिसिप्लिन के सेंग दैट यू छुदे छुदी अब इट्स टू ओवर प्राइस आई कंट इवन लुक एट इट भर आई डोट केयर अब द प्राइस मुवमेंट डिस्कलोजर जो इवन लाइक मेनुफैक्चरिंग में एक तो प्रमोटर लक इन इज फर थ्री इयर्स एंड देन लाइक हु एक्जिट्स जो इनिशियल प्रमोटर्स स्टिल इन Do they still have the skin in the game, Mani Gura? Like, there's no disclosure, okay? Correct. So they were only your sectors. I'm like, dumb, like, precariously my interest is gone, so you know. But yeah. it's like it 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 gets me nervous, Mani Gura. <laughs> Correct. I think a lot of promoters of these hydro power companies, if they were running a non-listed entity, you know, mm. I don't know how attractive would yeah, it be. Yeah, true, true. I mean, tomorrow if you say that, okay, about poly butter, you know, like stock after market. one month, the stock market is going to close for hydro power sector. True. Right, True. you cannot trade it. You just have to hold on to it and take cash flow. It depends on the parts of money. Yeah. I think then you'd get the real valuation yeah, of these think. hydropower sector companies, right? Okay. I think another place where I know for a fact that because of your brother, mm-hmm. uh, you've developed an inclination is looking at macros. Yeah. Right. Uh, in fact, I think uh, when back in two thousand eighteen, nineteen, Tirane, you had started telling me that Nepal's economy is very fragile, yeah. sir. So, Look at Sri Lanka, one. You had point, started pointing yeah, out at that yeah. point itself, right? So, can you tell me what you think about macros in terms of investing, or what do you think about the macro economic situation of Nepal and how it could impact the stock market? Mm-hmm. So, so macro economic. I mean, uh, because I was involved at KPS and bottom up yes. research at Ramli Gorthia, and one one guiding philosophy was like market close by. When we should be able to hold those investment, you angle about the sochi round there, no? Yeah. But um, So my brother got me interested in macroeconomic analysis yes. because he used to like ule rati rati in the heaven like then and he used to like keep on scouring resources ke and ule prediction or got the hera kati kuraru they started to make sense and that's how I got into it so mali ali sama say i mean i'm not at his level but mali ali the her say so country line eh, as a company yeah. so here rather than i look at um, so i'm a country ko say current account and capital account ma ki flow by ra so Mm. Partly do, partly do boy. It's external sector boy. And internal sector means that two things. It was a credit flow boy. That's because I know, kun le, kun like intensity le boy. That's and when credit flow boy, that's kun kun sector ma boy. That's ah, you say NRB ko the monthly database ma bani pongsa hai na. Then after that, so credit boy. I mean credit sector boy. And then or ko say government ko revenue expenses. So you think that a triangulation bought up any got indication or say on the race on the race in the sense what I've understood is Nepal ko kisma say. Internal sector, I'm not going to tell you, but I'm bro. Like economy is mostly oil, but the unproductive sector, many allocations are bankers on the credit. Correct. And two, you need to keep external sector soft going to tell you, right? Okay. So that's been a cyclical thing. Like it's yeah, been I think, going yeah. on for a while, right? Now I need to take a credit card and say, do you did a bit or a bill card even say help on the reason? Correct. So for viewers, I think the mid-June one, 2019, my panic. Do you need the private sector lending to GDP or something? Do you yeah. remember that? So regarding Sri Lanka, this is 2019. Tira ne yet said to like you know, say that Nepal company it's increasing at a very rapid pace. Mm, yeah. So can you tell us a little bit about that thing? Ni? Oh, so so debt to GDP panda, but ni external debt. So external debt, external debt in the sense foreign borrowings to GDP to ratio say. That's more important. Yes. Because uh, so 
GDP is like uh, GDP is like a flow concept and your debt is like a stock concept you know Correct. and uh, so and let's say nepal borrow gari aba hami 30% of gdp se external borrowing garni bhanera bhanera euta like euta covid aunu pardo rahecha timro gdp to like it slashes ni ta yeah. and then oh 30% hunda hera leko aba to like 60% yeah. of gdp boy external debt is 60% of your gdp then imf comes and says okay you got down gar your expenses got down gar so external external debt to gdp yeah external so rupee denominated timla didai na yeah नेपाली रुपी डिनोमिनेटेड तिमी एक्सटर्नल सो डलर में या यूरो में या जीबीपी में नहीं बरो कर पड़ने हो एंड एक्सटर्नल करेंसी में बरो कर वन पर्सन हो या टू पर्सन हो वाले लिंस बट जेनरली तो रिपे कर पड़ने टाइमसम जाना खेल करेंसी नहीं डेप्रिशिएट भर से इफेक्टिवली तिमें तीन इंट्रेस्ट अब टेन पर्सेंट ही हो बिकज हम करेंसी को डेप्रिशिएसन भी टेन पर्सेंट बात ओवर द इयर सो तेस में तिमें वन पर्सन या टू पर्सन में लेकर यू इफेक्टिवली paying 12% percent so there's a generally i have not seen a lot of macro economists when you t- get into that about yeah. me see if you might order okay you like to say it's always been there you know, at the back of our heads so i think one yeah one of the indicators you always pointed out was external debt to gdp yeah. and i think the other one was private sector borrowing to gdp pani right yeah. because at one point of time you had pointed out that for a economy like sri lanka it had already crossed i think 100% percent or something banera yeah. baniko thiyo haina Yeah. And I think Nepal Pani, if you look at the past ten years, go private sector borrowing to yeah. GDP, it wasn't very high. It was close to fifty, sixty percent. Oily, I think we are close to hundred percent, maybe above that. Yeah. I know. So, is the economy? Ma, say, kino ba ni no ban da hera? Is so. By the way, let's say I'm trying to send in FDI in Nepal economy. Yeah. By the way, and the slayer, the hera. So, okay, your company ma, they look at these ratios, okay. And the moment they see credit to GDP 100 percent go level, ma okay, no matter. They tell us they won't allocate money to. So don't worry. So these are like FDI investments or one hundred. FDI and even external debt, they need to come up. But or they charge you higher rates now, so yeah. you get into that debt debt surf dump, man. It debt like perpetual debt cycle, okay? Um, With these kind of numbers for an economy. Okay, okay, great. Because I wanted to understand I, actually the previous part where you looked at three things, right? Your external sector. Yeah. Yota our debt. So external sector are boy alio, na internal ma internal ma zay credit boy and government ko spending. Hey, yes, your tin tag triangulation is a very good framework, I think, yeah. for bas- because it's yeah. monitorable, na for yeah. a c- economy like Nepal. Okay, so you have your investment philosophy, you have your portfolio philosophy, and your macros, right? Mm. So I can understand it's not been too many years for yeah. Muktinath Capital, right? So can you walk us through maybe one or two examples of a company that you picked up, mm-hmm. right? using your framework and how did you develop that investment thesis again like for our viewers uh, i think what we need to put the disclaimer we've already put it out there saying that there's not a recommendation to buy yourself and it's just for educational purposes yeah. so everyone should do their own research mm-hmm. before buying or selling a stock you know your recommendations are you know so ek dio ta tesa euta investment bhande una jun timi harle afno framework bata pick up gareko Uh, of late, yes. of late, I would say there is another charter bank who, you know, and primarily, or even it's not just that, or even that, we have taken exposures of your name. That name is the part that there is standard charter, because uh, so bank line here, that is, and the bank uh, team, that is, recommend God, that is, hey, you grow now, any bank partner. Generally, that yes. was the feedback that I got. अभी जेनरली इन्वेस्टर ने मन नपरा को रिजन से जो एफपीओ को लेवल में प्राइसिंग बैंक कंटिन्ू मार्केट कैप बढ़े बिकज द बैंक नेवर लस्ट हो अरु बैंक कैपिटल रेज गए देन दे स्टार्टेड टू ग्रो रिडी अग्रेसिवली एससीबी से वाज वन बैंक विच मेन्टेन उसको ग्रोथ मोमेन्टम पैला को लेवल में जो लेवल में अपने पेज में ग्रो कर सो तर अब फिल्टर वाइज तिम्रो ग्रोथ में फिफ्टीन पर्सेंट अब रिटर्न ऑन एक रिडिशियज वेल वेल है राम थे एंड प्राइस दैट कम डाउन कोविड एंड सब एंड सो देन लाइक तो इंटायर सैक्टर को नंबर्स हे लाइक सब बैंक को लास्ट एट क्वाटर्स हे एवरी बैंक हेज बिन रिपोर्टिंग हायर एनपी नंबर्स कि एंड यू हायर एनपी नंबर्स नहीं जो हमें मैक्रो इकोनोमिक फ्रेमवर्क भाषा नहीं तेस पर भी कोविड को बेला में दे वर लर्निंग सो कंसेशन वाला लोन एकदम रोल आउट कर रखे थे कि अन यू से दिस इज नट मई ओन थिंग है मैं सौगात मेरे ब्रदर ने भन्थ भादा खेल सो इस लर्न कर रहा तर यू सब भाग वाया चीज हो बिकज सो व्हाट व्हाट विल हेपन यू उन्हीं रोल इट आउट नहीं एट वन पॉइंट 
in time uh, refinancing like, refinancing loan correct so you refinancing loan like fit ali ne bitayo what's going to happen uno le to like 5% bhane li raha cha tyo 5 so 1 lakh ma 5% ahile hola tar basi tyo 10% 12% pugyo pachi ke garcha correct and then problem also economy ma bhanu bhanthe ke unle mala micro level ma macro kura haru bujaunthyo and so that thing we started to see that you know yeah. uh, similar thing so npl levels are body rakho thyo aru banks haru ko chai scb bil jun chai alikati traditionally conservative bank haru bank haru unar le because they hadn't grown aggressively earlier also been headroom so for yeah. them to grow and npl levels are been just to allow in china it's low yeah growth thing gar rasa but allow in china yeah. one no well under control and provision when yeah. you well so that way say ever scb ma we took yeah. bet चार सौ को लेवल में अभी अभी पांच सौ प्लस पाक सो सो दैट्स लाइक मार्केट घर में बिन लाइक हैप्पी विथ वॉट वी डेट है एट भो एंड बैक देन वेन आई स्टार्टेड माई जर्नी विथ केपीआईएस मैं मन पड़े सैक्टर से माइक्रो फाइनेंस थी है बिकज एवरीबडी इन द सैक्टर वेयर लाइक ग्रोइंग एट रैपिड रेट्स अभी एनआरबी सो रेगुलेशन वाइज टाइट भैर थे तर उ फरक पड़ रहा थे बिकज एवं कोविड भी भू उन्हीं सो बैंक सो कोविड भो बैंक में एक्सेस लिक्विडिटी भो अलि मार्केट में गए अलि दे माइक्रो फाइनेंस सैक्टर में लो क सो लोअर सोर्स अफ फंड में उन्हीं पाए एंड उ फुल स्ट्रेट चार्ज कर पाई रहते ग्रो भी कर सक रहे सो दैट वे से माइक्रो फाइनेंस में वेव मेड गुड इन्वेस्टमेंट्स अभी रिटर्न्स भी भर अब एक्जिट भी कर सके सो दैट वेज आई थिंक लैंडिंग सैक्टर में नहीं मोस्टली सो दिज टू स्टॉक्स Okay, so tell us. I mean, again, like early stage, oh, right? Um, can you tell us through an investment that you made, where you realize that okay, this is not a good investment. My thought process was flawed, one, right? There are a lot of them, I know. <laughs> yeah. But uh, if I had to name one, um, quite a few actually. I'm going to say one. Pick right? up the best <laughs> one, the worst one. <laughs> the worst investment. Hmm. You want to say like um. Okay, I don't want to share that. Worst investment I did some ago. Okay, yeah. So UIC is um, non-life my insurance company, you know. Growth rates are low. Which one is United? Sorry, ULI, not UIC. ULI, life life insurance sector. My ULI fast. Yeah, Union Life. Fastest grower and um, so for so and so reason, fastest grower. Yeah. More just on sort of expectation, God, you know, you know. Yeah. And God, even sure my PLIC song, I think they were considering. So do they do they Ramro company not a bad bet, but uh, we entered. Then it also like roped in or got a all normal. So GIC, I think, or yeah, GIC song. Uh, PLIC, G U L I, no GIC, Boko. So now the like GIC is general insurance. I don't think so. It's a life insurance. I forgot the ticker or name, but just only that the mirror like list my number. Go song third. Us song when go there and it didn't perform. And as soon as it listed, we just exited that stock. So okay, so I think as much as the thesis changed because it underwent a merger. Right? Yeah. Can you tell us something where like your assumptions were wrong and you had to exit that stock? Yeah. So one <laughs> another stock so again in banking you know yeah. so banking ma paila maile cha ki hetna bhanda hera capital adequacy ratios are like very very emphasize god you know because yeah. tyo tyo level sama pugya pan thena no. correct um so the restriction nahi thena the restriction that was the restriction tyo regulator ko level bada tara tyo nobody was close to it okay? so the like, like generally overlook god you bhanum no? absolutely and teti uh, bela growing phase ma nahi thyo banking sector and you problems are it's very anticipate gori so kya the na and so what i looked so siddhartha bank ko perspective so siddhartha bank analyze gori hai so what i looked who well, looked at was branch amount all expand gori so poor branch economics to historical level so you said meet pass you know so then two thesis ma se aba huncha hola bhanne anticipation ma se we took bets you know massive bets hai bhanu and it didn't play out it still hasn't played out you know bhanne that bank is undergoing um, so npl levels are been raised by us and capital constraints so oh. so tell god has that this is never paid out and it it never played out in the sense so dun grow dun level dun rate land grow got so so that that hasn't happened either that yeah. hasn't happened in the last few years so then we visited the stock correct i i remember you calling me around a year year and a half back and telling mm. that often maybe your thesis on siddhartha bank is a little flawed you know when he only the branches expand got you 
But I don't think so. They have the capital to grow yeah. their yeah. loan books. So yeah. be a so little careful. So Anitya Tibala, initially when we um, made that thesis, we were not aware of rights issue. We were not aware of the NRB. We were not aware of the register. Which is why capital adequacy is a constraint. We were not aware of the rights issue. जोइंटली you have to hold it across mm, a period yeah. of time culturally we like it and stuff like that but again yes i think that was there was a flaw in yeah. our thinking we are blindsided by a Root, few of these yeah. things yeah okay so how important is psychology in terms of investing right what are the mistakes you generally make in terms of psychological usma yeah. uh psychological frameworks and what are the mistakes that you made and how do you overcome that can you Can it just three like, questions in one? Yeah, I mean, <laughs> because they, um, they turned out to be the same thing. Um, psychology, man, like my first book that I recommended as is when it was Psychology of Money. Correct. And because, um, I think seventy percent, eighty percent is psychology. The bank is your analysis. I mean, analysis, sorry, but so our minds they're wired in such a way that body, man, you reason the body, man, you find reason, got you, and okay, you reason is a got you, and you'll find you. You'll try to rationalize every move in the market. They may exactly fundamentally, and so you're not so under analysis. Or stocks, my bet, you, when you mind plays games with you, and to curb that, to know like what mistakes not to make, you need to go out and read other investor the gorigo mistakes or whatever. And these these are the books that all you can do. When they provide you a framework, what you could say, I've learned gorigo ne thaun. So you watch your own behavior, and you. Okay, I've been flipping stocks for so and so reasons. I shouldn't do it. Bani. Yes. You know, say you. So go on with it. Now, for what reasons, Bunny? Because I say I think these are the resources. I know Morgan House will go buy. And there are a lot of investors who talk about it. Ones who like invest act actively in equity with value investing principles. They write about it. Bunny. So blogs are written out the part of it. You get you get that. How do you control for it, or how do you? Corbett one your question was again i think self aware so i think to it's difficult you know ego yeah. like say team raf me ego like market doesn't care about your ego right so team your ego so you need to constantly keep that in check I and mean, it's it's a journey actually so what what are the most common biases that you've actually faced so my personal it was like what a lot of investors tend to do is price let's say bnt is a stock you know Uh, well, it it trades at around to twelve thousand, thirteen thousand today, yeah. and to price like dos kita kinole, I need to have one lakh plus money. Because that's expensive and that's risky. Correct. So that's not the case. So underlying queue, when you could not visit, you can't call a stock. And then there can be like a shitty hydropower stock that trades at hundred, two hundred rupees. Maybe so, even fifty rupees. Yeah, then, even fifty no? rupees. So then. You say attractive because it's affordable. So affordable, this song is a link. No, then so that's one bias. So do to academically go is okay. Yeah. Another thing is agi mali pani. So so body when you'll try to your mind will try to find reasons. Got you when you need your mind will try to rationalize reasons yeah. to exit. Okay. So so then your thesis needs to be strong enough so that yeah. you can navigate throughout. And kuna bini cheese my invest gorno banda. Or you need to write your thought yeah. process down. Yes, investment thesis like elaborate no boy. When you like kina say mali mere thought process ke sa the you pali. Earnings grow by Allah, margins expand by Allah. Whatever reasons, so put it down somewhere in writing so that our muscle goes up. And for what, if we broker the sell goes up, price or cheap buy up. And then you need to go back to those numbers yeah. and keep what, your behavior in check. What were you check. thinking? You know, like yeah. maybe it's grown two times, but maybe it has the potential to grow ten yeah. times, right? Yeah. So maybe selling is yeah. not a good decision. Yeah. I think that's a very important point. Okay, I don't know if people do it or not. Mm. You have to journal yeah. down, like yeah. especially with your portfolio. True. Why you bought it, and what were your expectations? So that when you are kind of pressurized by yeah, the market, yeah, even like with trading, I mean, just write something so that you can come back and refer to it later. Yeah, what what is your mind said? will forget? Absolutely, I think that's a very important point. Eh? My let's say, especially for psychological biases, so what I try to do is I make a lot of psychological errors. Eh? Koi likha, you know, like there are stocks where I really like it. My research got a gore on so. Like you know, for one month, two months, monitor around. So, and suddenly the price moves up, okay, yeah. right? And then 
आज भी मूव अप भाई समटाइम्स अ पॉजिटिव सर्किट अफ टेन पर्सेंट भोलि इट मूव्स अप बाई अनदर टेन पर्स इट्स मूव अप ट्वेंटी पर्सेंट के अने आई स्टार्ट टू पैनिक थिंकिंग ओ वॉट इफ दिस सडनली गोज आउट अफ माई रेंज सो देन आई जस्ट गेट देर एंड आई स्टार्ट टू बाई इट है सो मोर रिसेंट आई स्टिल मेक दैट मिस्टेक बाई दई लाइक लास्ट मंथ पी आई बी मेकिंग दैट मिस्टेक है बट वट आई ट्राई टू डू इज नाउ आई एम ट्राइंग टू लाइक एक्चुअली जर्नल मैं कह कह मिस्टेक्स and how do i make that yeah. corrective another thing change. to add to that so institutionally when i think whatever mistakes we make like generally pa- patterns ki hunchan sweep it under the rug hunchan oh yeah that's on uh, excuses or whatever there are generally institutional practice like let your investments go wrong there are journal your learnings from there so that like next time you don't make same mistake you make new mistakes i think yeah. institutionally say that's a better approach even yeah. individually pani i think the team the list got go yeah. is way 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 better eh? okay i think Another question I have to ask you on investing is: Did you invest, Gary? You've like, Anthony, you've done the entire process. You've sat through it, right? How do you decide on selling? I mean, have you guys had? I mean, I understand you're just three years old there. And another, how do you decide on it? Like, I had an investor who had come and who said that, Anthony, regardless of where my valuations are, if the market cycle play out by that, so once I exit, okay, I know. So. Again, I had another one who said that market cycle boy, but I don't want to exit as long as my stock is currently mm-hmm. undervalued. You know? So, do you? How do you decide when to sell? Like, do you decide it at the point of entry, or like, how how does how does that work out for you? Oh, when I started my investment journey, my I was even like, based on that, no, unless there's fundamentally something wrong with the business, that was my orientation, you know. Yes. But of late, say two things, I think, or maybe three. So one, say, the new valuations out of whack. Boy, then I think I consider selling those stocks. Yeah. So, thought of having said that, valuation out of whack guy, so because out of whack guy, that's all. Then, so again, like market cycle, it's all the reasons. Eh, it's really difficult to make that choice. So partial exit boy, that answer, answer. You're at your boy. So you you mean to say valuation? So it goes overboard. Yeah, overboard. So not like my P is at fifteen on some one, like twenty some guy. Any that's fine. There are thirty forty on that. Hello, on say. time to sell like maybe i'll come back to this later but you let you approach boy or could say um so when to sell one grammar let's say okay the siddhartha bank ke case mein na my 80 percent grow or so one assumption later it's all that and for the past one year two year to bakay sign na correct and reason pe beta so then like doesn't make sense to hold on to that thesis to so lag it so when your underlying assumption is yeah. wrong i think that's yeah. another place that's right that's another place i think plus more lately i think because of your brother you yeah. start looking at a few of these macro situations macro say like so so that's more uh, macro say kati bela kaam lagcha bhanda ra tyo inta so equity ro fixed deposit instruments ma huncha ni timro allocation kun bela chai equities ma bari kun bela chai fds or alternative oh, they are better like mispriced mutual fund opportunities una sakcha kai lekai na so if macro economically if a lot of things aren't making sense is man is much a no brainer like returns by that sony they would generally switch it towards it okay? so this to back so, so we've done that a little bit of uh, market timing at what you yeah market timing the business cycle on, timings and yeah, stuff like based that based on well. nepal go create cycle and okay. external sector imbalances okay so what does a regular day look like um, and for our viewers as well like most of them would be younger viewers and what's the importance of habits like for you know for you to become a, like what do you do firstly what's your what does your regular day look like um so regular day at office no i mean from morning right because as looking at the linkedin profile mm-hmm. i think and you say that i'm a fitness enthusiast mm-hmm. and you're also an avid reader you know yeah. so how do you balance all these what what does a regular day look like uh, i wake up at 4:30 in the morning and i do my yoga it's generally one hour co session and then then so that so waking up early say it gives me time to alikiti not be in that rush to do things since any activity oriented banda when alikiti day back what i say so that's something that i've started lately you know yeah i can't boast about it like too much but i've been happy with my progress so it helps to keep sane raisa yeah uh, so i do that and i tackle 9:30 my reach my office the first so 9:30 ma say i look at so whatsapp ma my notes pa nai ran so kai boli ki ke garni bhanra so i generally have three priorities for that particular day and in particular month 11 three like major priorities pa nam na so generally this is a schedule garso bitcha bitcha ma aru cheezar pani auncha haina but generally three things to focus gari bhani say i think i picked that habit at not like to principally say i picked it at kps is just like but So three things per day, per week, per month. This is the plan. Got you. Say it's been like easier to to tackle checklist. Now, when you cross it, you get that 
day in and day out, like, you achieve at least check your checklist. So that's yeah. how um, I go about my day. So first thing in the morning, say generally, um, yeah. so my first priority is this my focus. I get started on gen- the distractions are cut down, got your phone level, I think like half, like hacker behind my monitor racket, I start working, you know. Um, so generally first half an hour, say market news or kick by that, kick by that, focus on I report at your boy so that I can schedule work for the following day. Then I start working on my priorities. Yeah. Uh, generally, I'm like, "Kya gorso banda hai?" Raise investment ideas or ne kun cha cha na so screener ma kya aayo the kuda ar mantra gari ani kune ko deep dive deeper dive gone person ani this ma gaye kaise ko like quarter reports aasa dun sa mere portfolio ma sa usko and usko peers ko bani reports hura aasa to check gari paari. Yeah. So that's how I go about my day. And kya na ek line sur entry pass ho paani se allocation decisions or apni leave in paani unsa so then part of part of work day gets spent yeah. there. Any part of it, say, uh, uh, so my team, my junior analyst, or any so, and interns, or any so, or work like say, here is a feedback or dinner for any so, so that's how like it is done. I think it goes by one or two. Okay, and uh, do you type like I, I think apart from research, you know, uh, do you find time to read? Um, yeah. So how do you find time to read? At what time of the day do you read? You know? yeah, generally in the evenings. Only sometimes. Once you're back home. Yeah, once I'm back home. Uh, my lunch breaks or ma, even at office, say one hour, one hour, say every day to read. Pani gori rakun so that's any. And you read the key one. Here again, like good books, read them, read those ideas, and you triangulate that with the research that you're doing. Correct. Koi kusun sa na hera. Yura idea kun sa book ma pora hansa. And thakko you're doing thakko the sector ko research, for example, next week ko letters ko ali pori ko, you know. Yeah. Or operating leverage ko. Key work, garden party, rasa ani. If it makes sense, I go back and forth between these two resources. Correct. So reading in at work, many boy down. So taro kati kura say. So at work, say no, I reading one. Many pura ano reading like say. Say I triangulate that with what I'm doing. Any bar ma say no ya. So when you're reading, at, uh, what what is it? Is it mostly investment books or are you looking at a lot of? I don't know what do you call those. The power of compa- self-help books. So you keep on self-help. Right? No, uh, so generally, so yes, investment books. Yeah. But I also try. Kadi kura or say so. So generally, non-fiction. But yes. and I would say more than sixty percent of investment books say unsa because it helps me stay on that track. Correct. About selling pressures or and all of that and justify going like I need to have my head in the right place. So I keep on Correct. going through those material over and over. And all the things, funny. So non-fiction, man, the different. Like I have my to read list. So I, I. So investment, you're not bored. Investment, investment, some related book. Do you be able to sit in? It's all fresh in your mind. So I get into another yeah. genre, man. So for young investors, right, who are watching our show, how important or for analysts? I mean, you could be of any age, you know. How important is reading habit for you to become a good investor? It's. I mean, it's part and parcel of what you do, you know. So it's extremely important in that. Unless you build a reading habit, you won't get to know about this world from someone else's perspective. Okay, and you'll always be in your head if you don't build a reading habit. Reading habit is something that allows you to get into author's head and look at world from different vantage points. So I think it's extremely important because team Rafno Madra or investment lenses wear gorte, you can only do so much in life. <laughs> Correct. All right, so I want to come to another topic, which is extremely important, right? Uh, women in finance and women in investing, right? Okay. So when we are searching around for these uh, fund managers who are generally female, we couldn't find too many of these, right? Do you think women fund managers are underrepresented, underrepresented in Nepal specifically, and why? Do you think so, or? Don't you, you think so? I think you answered that in your question itself. That yeah. you couldn't find one. Right? Yeah, I actually couldn't find too mm. many of these. Yeah. So then, yeah. Why, why do you think that's the case? Why? You would attack on my ass, There was this article like a while ago. Um, Nepali celebrity Rekha Thapa got the article there, where she, I think, key question there when Malaya said, "No, but only key share. Usko experience ma key share gari ko thiwa ni." Um, so entrepreneurship, Matthew, I think that entire thing was. Yes. Uh, and he, well, the key point is that, I mean, culturally, 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 
गरी रासो और हमरा एबिट्स की सब आने को रहा मैं ध्यान देने में से ब्ला 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 एंड शी वाज सेइंग लाइक वो आफ्टर मेल फ्रेंड्स और संग बॉस हैर्स जनरली कॉन्वर्सेशन की उनसा आना है रा उनसे नहीं वो इतने बिजनेस में कोटी प्रॉफिट बाय रासा मौकुन बिजनेस करूं तो इनको तो कमाइस उनसे नहीं सो फाइनेंशियल डिस्कशंस और उनसे जनरली एंड वेमेन और संग बॉस हैरा हमारे कुन लोग आकीने हमारे कुन ज्वेलरी कीने उनसे नहीं कहाँ गारा हमारे कुन ब्रांडेड बैग कीने सो दोस काइंड ऑफ थिंग्स और उनसा अने देन how can we so culturally na me so so man how can we talk about mahila shashakti karan one i think that was the crux yeah. of that article ani adding that to what you just asked me kina underrepresented panera part of the reason could be i mean culturally like when we bring up women risk taking khase garo dena un sin sanu era ki mistake ho ni you maybe like you say something to her and she makes a big in her own head to when you know sucks yes and for guys hey, like i look at my brother and my fr- like brother good friends or they're all about and saying to tuska lies you can paisa kamao tuska so they're all about that you know conversation at the end so then that doesn't happen with my friends okay like Got i it. try to push them but it doesn't happen so Sorry. i think part of it's a cultural reason to slide yeah so. i think actually timly i think when you were in kps you had brought this topic up saying that you know nepal na people are ready to afna chori ko biya ko lai they are ready to spend lakhs and crores you know that if chori le business garchu bhanne bhani they are not that's true with my mom as well i mean yeah. like ka timro whatever timro wedding ma diamond ko you said and you said and and then when i talk about entrepreneurship taking yeah. risk with money yeah. like not allowed so yeah true so. and especially like अब आई थिंक देर दे माइट बी क्वाइट अ फ्यू कल्चरल फैक्टर्स एज वेल है बिकज आई कैन नट स्पीक अबाउट पैला को जेनरेशन के बारे में चाहे मन सक तर यह जेनरेशन में तो आई एम गेसिंग तिमी री वर वी वेन्ट टू द सेम काइंड अफ स्कूल वी वर एक्सपोज टू द सेम काइंड अफ रिशोर्सेज वेदर इट इज क्लास रूम में आउटसाइड क्लास रूम अनलाइन है सो आई डोट थिंक सो प्रब्लम से कपैसिटी अफ वेमेन में है कि मे बी इट्स मे बी इज दट कल्चरल माइंड सेट और Hey, do you think there's lack of opportunity as well for women? All kati women lai progress garna garo uncha hudaina. Do you think that's the case or do you think that's not the case? I think all kati both ways se ho jasto lagcha haina. Sometimes like culturally ne we I mean we shy away from coming into the limelight or we shy away from taking risk. Yeah. We shy away from self promoting. Yes. And like men like it comes naturally to them jasto lagcha. And yeah. एट तो होता अब अपर्चुनिटी वेमेन आई थिंक लाइक सीमिलर क्वालिफिकेशन भक्त केस में लाइक आई हेवन जेनरली सीन अर्गनाइजेशन ट्राइंग टू सी नो जस्ट बिकज यूर फिमेल तर कि भादा खेल इफ देर टू लेट्स ए कैंडिडेट्स भनम न जेनरली सो एवं चाहे क्वालिफाइड सर लेट्स सी एफ एवं यू रिसेंटली पाते कि So CFA saw, but that's about it. I know so yeah. case man. There's another guy who doesn't have like CFA qualification. Blah blah blah. So he's been in research ever since he was like seventeen, eighteen, nineteen years old. Did they better any financial modeling or anything? Yeah. Then like, oh, I can't say I was gender biased in hiring the guy. Yeah, because that's not the case. It was a skill yeah. like. So that's a more valuable skill yeah, set to have. Correct. I know. So yeah. this area, I think, generally, Tuesday, on so any. Having said that, you are biased. Why? You know, so so. Any same mistake. Let's say you have two colleagues in your team. Any one lady and one gentleman. And same mistake. The lady like, "Hey, get your own." Then no money. The cultural inertia is how this looks. Malay. Correct. I think that needs to move out. Yeah. Right? So yes. So related to this, now I was going to ask you. Okay. Tim, you took a lot of example men there where Kita ko circle or maybe the conversations around business and money making, yeah. whereas Kiti ko ma it's not. It's so more much. oriented towards yeah. other things. You know. How can you encourage younger women or younger girls to start getting into this field? What are the steps that people should take to encourage more women participation in investments? Because it's extremely important, right? Uh, in the sense that Timli Panya, so you wanted to be financially independent, yeah. right? Now, uh, which is a basic human requirement. Okay, yeah. it's regardless of gender. I think you should be financially yeah. independent. You know? So, what should we do to enable girls and women to be more independent we as society we as a society like or even when you're speaking to the girls or when you're addressing the girls to this podcast right unia let's ke garnu parcha for them to get into this sector i think one read the right resources you know yeah. sometimes academy ali mata sabai kura cover gareko hunda you know so it's not like just because you have your mba or bba or cfa or ca yeah. like timro um timro labs ma job also bana that's that's not the case you right. know so try to build skill set I mean, the way you go about it is get into right internships, 
get the right mentors if possible. Yeah. Well, I know when you read, write books, yeah. on you do your independent research, build something <clears throat> of your own that you can showcase to your potential employers and then get in, get in the in industry, try to get in the industry, then things will flow from there. Just like so. Okay. So I think regardless <coughs> of what your gender is, I think you have that opportunity, yeah. but you need to prepare yourself. Yeah, you Maybe in case of women, forward. even that mindset fight, you know, uh, Maybe you need to be prepared that I need to probably work. Yeah, maybe slightly. think. Yeah, slightly more about it. Yeah. Think of it like I mean, gender bias exists, so lie, you know? yes. So it will it will go away with time. But meanwhile, you prepare yourself and you think of it like you're also pre uh, you're also competing with male counterparts and yeah. you try to be twice or thrice as better. Yeah. So that you have fight, a fighting chance of yeah. getting in one of them. So even for people like you and me, like regardless of gender, you know, when we are competing with someone from a Western, more developed country, you know, like you said, Timi India Makam you know. So you know that you come from Nepal, right? And you know that someone from India already has that inherent advantage because yeah. it's their country. Yeah. So when you're going there, you already need to have this mindset saying that you want that say I have mm, to be prepared yeah, to yeah, make more yeah. sacrifices, work harder. True. I think the same can be. What can organizations do in order to be more, uh, you know, the gender equal kind of a workplace on the line, more inclusive workplace on the line? You would say, I think part of it is hire more women, you know, to yeah. one just not just anybody with relevant skill sets or any hire more women. And part of it, say, so once you've hired women, uh, also be mindful about Amali Agizun Banini. So same curricula. So yeah. am I judging her? Sukune kurama ula gali kon pare or whatever feedback kon pare. Am I giving her f this feedback because she's a woman or because like in some gender neutral udapani? Would I give her the same advice? Partners, I think the awareness, the cultural, the every organization na unathali oni matu things will change. Absolutely. Okay. So I think we're nearing the end of the podcast, right? So what I want to understand is what potential do you think there is for Nepal stock market over the next five to ten years, right? And what do you think needs to improve here? Next five to ten years. Yes. Okay. Because short term, obviously, we know that a lot of things can't happen. But over the long term. So first was, okay, could you repeat your question? So what potential do you think there is in Nepalco stock market, right? Okay. Over the next five to ten years. And what do you think needs to improve? improve? Um, next five to ten years, ma, I see. I mean, I'm trying to paint a rosy picture because I'm in capital markets. Panda pani. Abo oily samo. I'm ro nepse stock ma kiki listed stocks or so on. Hera majority lending stocks is a, you know, real sector ma kotti onay banki sa. So that way, say I see positive. Thor pani abo and real sector onu par sa banera. Abo bolla awareness pani develop by that. So kiki na ni I'm consistently external sector ma se problem ma gohi rakusam ni ta. Kino banera ni ya bubble credit le bubble create gohi ko paro. Bani part of the reason tio banera bani I think. Regulators, I have to awareness that I saw because I I read articles and I sense that. Yes. You know? Um. So like about only ten years, I say about improve and growth. We design it now just like so because more and more real sectors they need to come and get listed. Tara bani like kati kurar se bottleneck just like so for example like kun kura improve gone pani bani zun bani ni. Ira tio I bani kan online three years ko profit boy. Basi matra you can come and list eh na. Yeah. Investor protection angle bada. I agree to one person, but there are other ways to protect investors than yeah. just saying three bars of profit they have and then we'll let you list. Because only Nepal will buy. List at the premium. Yeah, so premium ma. So book value ko to just two ita two investment ideas or two investments are in pipeline. So ra unsa ki udayon in shares hai nige. Because the market la already saw it. Why may I be one person buy? Tio ki buy ne. Anchoring buy se buy se kya hai na? So that way, say you're not allowing a lot of promising business ideas to get listed. Yeah. I mean, you're actually impeding growth. So capital le gaur dhara grow na na sakne business like so you're actually impeding their pr progress. Progress. Man, the regulator well. regulator side regulatory side bar say you saw a bottleneck sir. Say or bistar remove they gaur ra. Timro fair investor light transparency say is very important. And all even kati kurar disclosures they aren't adequate. If I look at India ke investor presentation and disclosures kati dere kura disclosures so I know yeah yeah that's about like numbers ke basis man you're a sound management commentary and so on. Every quarter copy paste kar lo. Yeah, tu bani buy down so I know so that way se evolve unu necessary. So tarra ab alternative exchange bada goyar unse ki SME exchange banana unse ki unse ni. I think 
रियल सेक्टर आने पर्ची तेल अब एड्रेस कर रेगुलेटर को साइड बड़ देड मोर कैपेसिटी बिल्डिंग कर सो प्रब्लम भो भाई में वी कैन रिग्रेस बैक के हंड्रेड में नहीं पर्स सो बुक बिल्डिंग में प्रब्लम आँस हो लाइक अफकोर्स है मनिपुलेसन बट मनिपुलेसन लाइन रियल सेक्टर आने पर्स है द लर अफ दिस कंपनीज दैट कैन नट किप टेकिंग क्रेडिट के सो इफ दे एक्सेस कैपिटल मार्केट बट ऑफ पीपल को मोर इक्विटी पार्ट आई थिंक इट्स गुड फर द ओवरऑल इकोनमी एज वेल इट रिड्यूस द बर्डन ऑन द फाइनेंशियल सिस्टम एज वेल यो आर्टिकल फ्रिक्वेंटली आई रहता दैट मेजर बिजनेस हाउसेज दे कंट्रोल क्रेडिट भर है सो इफ दे कम आई मीन इफ दिज बिग कंपनीज दे कम फर आईपीओज एट लिस्ट क्रेडिट तो अलग फ्री अप भर तिम्रो एस एम ई स्पेस में जो ओके श्रद्धा आई थिंक वीव कम टू द एंड अफ द पॉडकास्ट है थैंक यू सो मच फर कमिंग टुडे एंड गिविंग अस योर टाइम आई थिंक इट वॉज रियली वैल्युएबल फर मी पर्टिकुलरली एंड फर व्यूअर्स एज वेल Thank you for having me, Arpan. Yeah, and good luck with everything, and a good luck to Muktinath Capital with your future endeavors, especially with the mutual funds. Thanks. All right. Okay. Great. Thanks. Thank you.